In this video, we will identify the domain and range, independent and dependent variables from a given description, and then determine whether that function is continuous or discrete. In this first situation, a local theater sells admission tickets for $9 on Thursday nights. At capacity, the theater holds 100 customers. So from this situation, we can write this depends statement where we say the amount of money collected depends on the number of tickets sold. So we can then determine that the dependent variable is our amount of money collected and our independent variable is the number of tickets sold. Because we can't sell half a ticket or we won't have any values in between our integer values, this situation is discrete. So as we look at finding our domain and range, our domain has to include all the possible values from our independent variable. So we're talking about the number of tickets. So the number of tickets, we could sell zero tickets, one ticket, two tickets, all the way up to our capacity of 100 tickets. Notice how this is written as a discrete set of numbers. We only have the value 0, 1, 2, 3. We don't have anything between those values. So those points are not connected. For our range, remember our range values depend on our domain. So we determine our range from the domain values. So starting uh, with the first domain value of 0, if zero tickets are sold, the amount of money collected will be zero. If we sell one ticket, $9 would be collected. If we sell two tickets, $18 would be collected, all the way up to our capacity of 100, which would give us $900 collected. So notice how this range set depended upon our domain restriction. Situation number two is going to be an on-your-own problem. Joy's grandmother cans homemade applesauce around the holidays to raise money for the local food bank. She earns a profit of $2.79 for each jar she sells. Write the depend statement and then determine your de dependent and independent variables. And write the domain and range and determine if it's discrete or continuous. Situation number three. On Black Friday, the local electronics store is selling copies of Call of Duty World War II for $45 each. The store only has 100 copies of the game in stock. So looking at this situation, what depends on something else? Well, the amount of money earned for the store depends on the number of games sold. From that, we determine our dependent variable and our independent variable. Now, you can't sell half a game. You can only sell integer values of games. So uh, this is going to be a discrete situation as well. Our domain values are going to start at zero because we could sell zero games. One game, two games, all the way up to the store's stock of 100 games. Again, our range value depends on our domain because our range or our y values are our dependent variable. So the amount of money earned, we could earn $0. With the first game sold is $45. The second game sold is 90, so on and so forth until we sell all 100 games for $45 a piece and we earn $4,500 for the store. Situation number four, Bruce earns $8.50 per hour at his part-time job. His parents are worried about him keeping up with grades, so he is allowed to work a maximum of 10 hours each week. So we know that he works a certain amount of hours and earns some money based on those hours worked. So we can write that depending statement. The amount of money that Bruce earns depends on the hours worked. From that, we know our dependent and independent variable. But as we look at a discrete or continuous, we think about, well, time. 
time is going to keep rolling no matter what. So all of those points are going to be connected. We can work for half an hour, for 15 minutes, for one minute and 22 seconds. So this is going to be a continuous situation. That's going to affect how we write our domain and range. Our domain contains all of the X values. The X values here are the hours worked. So think about what our starting value for our hours could be. Our starting value for our hours is going to be zero. And he can work a maximum of 10 hours. So our domain is going to be written as a continuous interval from zero to 10. So our hours have to be bigger than zero, but less than 10. Our range is going to depend on our domain. The amount of money earned depends on the amount of hours worked. So from our starting value in our domain of zero, if he works zero hours that way, week, he's going to earn zero dollars. If he earns, if he works 10 hours that week, he's going to earn $85. So our range is going to look like zero, less than or equal A for amount of money earned, less than or equal to 85. Situation five is going to be an on your own problem. Make sure to write that depend statement so that it'll help you determine your independent and dependent variables. And you'll write your domain and range and whether it's discrete or continuous. And situation six is also on your own.